All right, guys, as you can see, we got two brake pads here. So as you saw earlier, I took the wheels and the spacers, or the wheel off. And we'll take the spacer off, no big deal. And then what we're gonna be focused on is our caliper right here. Uh, one of the first things I wanna do is uh, if many of you don't know, or the big part of this, as you can see, there's two rods that hold these uh, brake pads on instead of like clips, like for a car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this, there's an Allen back here. We're gonna take a little wire brush, clean it up a little bit. We're gonna pull the Allen head out and that way it allows us to push this rod back just enough to get these pads out. And then uh, we're gonna throw our new pads in, but we got we're gonna compress the cylinder, throw our new pads in, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna try and walk you through it, but give me just a second, let me get started. So I got them off, two washers on them, pull them out, and I'm gonna use a C-clamp to uh, decompress these. I'm gonna add my brake slot, but I'm gonna use a C-clamp uh, to decompress the cylinder. And the reason why you have to decompress the cylinder is, I'll show you in just a second, the brake pads I have on here are gonna be extremely slim compared to the new ones. So give me just a second, let me get that C-clamp set up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, got the C-clamp set up. We're just gonna slowly tighten them down like this. I'm using the brake pads as, because you wanna go solid across it. I'm using the old brake pads to decompress it. And when this bottom's out, that's when I'm gonna be done. Okay. Hopefully you can see that there. If the cylinder's just about fully decompressed. You can also take, if you don't have a C-clamp, handy you can take a screwdriver get in between them pry just like you would on a car some of the i know like the f-150 my black f-150 you can take a big screwdriver get under the caliper and decompress the cylinder that way they also make you know a whole kit that decompresses the cylinder if that's what you're looking for no big deal but so now you may be wondering how these come off they're not clips like a normal car i'm gonna try and get out of the light here so this actually allows it to compress these rods actually compress You take it like that and you can pull it off and there you go you got your pad out i mean look at that guys look at that compared to that look at the the thickness i mean we were i mean they were gone but good thing we're changing them out i knew it was getting about time it was getting kind of hard to stop and i'd get a spongy uh i don't guess a spongy pedal but i'd get a spongy handle so but it's as easy as that. Maybe not throw them around, but easy as that. I like to put the bottom one on first. Let's see, let me make sure I got this right. Yeah, all right. I just want to make sure I didn't have a caliper turn laying it up here. That wouldn't have been good. I had to take it all back off. But we're going to compress this again. Like I said, I find putting it on the bottom first is easier. And the hardest part is actually getting it compressed and sliding it on like so. But there we go. Got it on there. It takes a little bit of convincing sometimes. But we've got it on. We've got it slid on. Now we're going to get our second one on like so. Like I said, bottom first. I like spin it around, slide it right on there. Look at that, like no problem. 
and we're going to put this back on and so after you slide it back on the rotor steps are pretty much a reverse don't forget to put your uh, screw back in up top tighten it down maybe want to use a little bit of blue lock tight but other than that you're good to go guys it's the same all the way around polaris uses the same brake pads and same system on all three uh, so on that wheel over there in the front too it's gonna be the same process hope it goes well for you and see you guys next time